Hey everybody, welcome back to Run and Gun. I'm JT and I have with me here the Nikon Z6. I've had this camera for a year now and I've shot with it extensively. I feel like I know this camera like the back of my hand. So in this video, we're gonna break down everything about the Z6, what I love about it, what I don't like so much about it, and is this camera still worth it in 2020? So let's get right into it. So we have the Nikon Z6 with us here today. I also have the Sigma 35 millimeter 1.4 art lens. Pretty awesome lens. I love the bokeh or bokeh, however you decide to pronounce it, with this lens. Very snappy, autofocus, great little lens for portraits. I love using it. But we are here to talk about the Nikon Z6 today. And the first thing I want to start off by saying is I am not a Nikon fanboy. There's a lot of people that say, I'm a Nikon fanboy, I get accused of it all the time. I'm not being paid by Nikon, I'm not sponsored by Nikon, I have to buy my Nikon gear just like everybody else, and I do like Nikon. Now I will admit I used to be a Canon fanboy a long time ago, but we're not going to get into that. But I am by no means sponsored by Nikon, or am I a Nikon fanboy. I just use what's in my hand to the best of my ability, and I use the tool to get the job done. But in this video, we are gonna be talking about the Nikon Z6, what it's been like to shoot on it for over a year now, what I like about it, what I dislike about it. So let's get right into talking about what I like about this camera. It is lightweight, it is small, it is ergonomic. Love the way the hand grip just fits right in your hand. I have this little strap here, I will link down to that in the description. Absolutely fantastic little thing, paired up with the Z6 for running gun shooting around in the city. I can take my hands off it for a second and I still have use of my hands and I still have full control over the camera. But as I was saying, I love this ergonomic grip. It just feels like the camera belongs in your hands. And if you enjoy shooting with the camera that you're shooting with, you're probably gonna shoot more. And that's why I shoot with the Z6 all the time. Very small, lightweight frame. That's because it's mirrorless. There's no giant mirror slapping around. And if I really wanted to, I could take this FTZ adapter and this lens right off the camera, put a body cap on it, and I could probably slide it right in my pocket. That's how small and lightweight this thing is. Now you do feel that, let's say I threw on a 400 millimeter giant telephoto lens. I will feel that on this camera because it will be very front heavy. Unlike if I was shooting on a Nikon D3, D4, D5, where the camera body kind of balances with the lens and you have that giant battery pack on the bottom, it will become very front heavy the heavier your glass gets because again, the body is just so darn light, you really do have to support your glass. There's no shooting like this or shooting like this or like this, anything crazy. You really do have to support your lens. So that is great with this camera. Again, with being mirrorless, that silent shutter is a game changer. And that's not just the Nikon Z6, that's really any mirrorless camera these days. The quiet shutter is fantastic and I love shooting silently, especially when I'm trying to do street photography and not draw a lot of attention to myself. So the photo quality on the Nikon Z6 is superb, especially low light. This is the camera I've been using for my neon portraits. I'll show you guys some examples but the low light quality is great. I can really crank up that ISO if I need to. It is great for long exposures. It's great for short exposures. It really helps to have that in-body stabilization so I can even crank down an extra couple stops, really slow down that shutter and still get a nice steady shot with the Z6. So the Z6 all around with photo is pretty great. The 24 megapixel sensor is just the right size. I've done giant 24 by 36 prints. They look great. And this really, when it comes to photo, competes with just about any other camera out there. Now, one of the downsides of this guy is if you're shooting sports. I've done a couple football games. I've done some basketball. I've done some fast paced action with the Z6 and I'm not a huge fan of the rolling shutter. You will notice that if you're panning you know, extremely quickly or something zips across your screen really quick, 
you'll see that things that should be vertical end up skewing kind of one way or the other. That's just because of the way your sensor is reading light from top to bottom and how your sensor is kind of scanning the frame top to bottom or bottom to top, however it works. It's just not really fast enough for that super fast paced action. Now, that is one of the very few downsides of the photo mode. Let's talk a little bit about video. For run and gun video, this is awesome. Not only is the 4K absolutely superb, the 1080 quality is great too. This guy has the capability of shooting 120 frames per second at 1080, and I think that feature is really glossed over on the Z6. One of the only downsides of the video is this little articulating screen. I can't flip it out. I can only go up and down with it, which is pretty nice if I wanna lay on the ground and look down, or if I wanna hold the camera up in the air and look up at it. But can't exactly vlog with this guy. I can't point it at myself and see what I'm shooting. That's kind of one of the downsides. This really isn't a vlogging camera unless you have an external monitor and you know things start getting heavy. But for regular just running gun video, collecting B-roll, whatever you want to shoot with this thing, short films, absolutely great. And the low light quality is awesome. I'm extremely, extremely impressed with the low light quality and having that full frame sensor really helps. The last thing I wanna say about the video is that in-body stabilization, that stabilized sensor, when you pair that up with a nice stabilized lens, you can get some extremely smooth shots and not even have to use a gimbal like a Ronin. So the Z6 overall is pretty awesome. One of the other things that I've mentioned before in my videos, it does have that one card slot. I've never really had an issue with it. Again, I've shot weddings on this, I've shot sports, I've really bumped this camera around and I've never really had any issue on any camera whatsoever, but I've really never had any issue on the Z6 only having that one card slot. That single card slot I know is really one of the biggest things that keeps people away from the Z6. Also, it doesn't have 4K60. That would be absolutely awesome if Nikon could eventually either update this with 4K60 in a firmware upgrade or come out with another generation because there is a rumor that there's a Z6 generation two coming out with two card slots and 4K60. So we'll just have to wait and see. But overall, absolutely love the Z6. If you're looking at purchasing one, I don't think you can go wrong. It's an amazing camera in 2020. And this camera is gonna be great in 2021, 2022 if you can't afford it right now. But if you are looking for the Z6, I will have some affiliate links down below in the description. And I'll also have the links for the strap and some other little run and gun tools that I use when I go out and I regularly shoot. So that's really all for this video about the Nikon Z6. I've really enjoyed shooting on this guy for the last year. I really can't wait to see some of the other things I get to shoot on it. I'm gonna start shooting short films, a whole bunch of other stuff and super excited to show you guys some more of the stuff like a documentary I've been working on, all shot on the Z6. So again, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and share this video with a buddy that you might think is looking for a new photo or video camera. So until next time, get out and go shoot.